Good evening. Welcome to uh, our video series that we're doing on Sunday nights here at church. If you're joining us on YouTube or Facebook, want to welcome you. We're going to open up God's Word tonight together and share a few quick thoughts with you. I hope you've had a great holiday weekend with your family, and I'm glad you're joining us. Um, I've been thinking about this, and this has been on my heart, and I've shared this before on a Wednesday night, but I want you to think with me just for a second about things in your everyday life that you have to have them in your possession for them to work right so like you you own it and maybe you've been you've needed something you've been out and you're like man i've got one why didn't i bring it why did i forget this why didn't i watch the weather yada 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 think about with me just for a minute things that maybe you own and maybe you don't use we're going to think about that as it relates to our faith tonight. But I've got a few random things up here. Um, one is an umbrella. I don't know who left this at church, but thank you because I've been using it. Um, if you need it, come back and get it. I'm not going to steal it, but anyway. Uh, how many times have you been out and maybe you didn't check the weather or whatever and it starts raining and you think, man, I've got an umbrella, but it's at home. Or right there beside it, a rain jacket. And you think like, man, I bought one. Um, but well, why don't I have it on? You know, this one's self-explanatory. We're not going to get into this. You don't know what deodorant is, but uh, you guys know that one guy at work, maybe. I don't know. Um, but it's one thing to own it. It's another thing to apply it. All right, stay with me. If you're fair complected like me, I'm probably getting a sunburn right now somehow in my office. Um, I can't get out in the, sun, in the summer anytime, fishing, whatever, without having some of this on. So there's been so many times where I'm like, man, I've got, I've got it. It's at home, but I don't have it on. I've thought the same thing for, for sunglasses or maybe um, every vehicle has a seat belt. But it's one thing to have it in your vehicle. It's a very different thing to apply it, to put it on. Life jackets, the same thing. <clears throat> This is not mine, by the way, although those are cute colors. I don't know if that'd really fit. Um, but it's one thing to have it, and it's one thing to say that you've bought it, or maybe that you own it, but it's so different to, to wear it and to put it on. Two different times in God's Word tonight, if you'll turn with me in your Bibles, the first one is found in Ephesians chapter 6. God's Word specifically tells us to put these things on, and so... During the time that we're that we're dealing with right now, I think maybe more so than ever, um, it's a time for us to wear our faith every day, not just inside the church building. I think that's been a problem in the past of church just in general, of us going to church and having our church friends or having our faith and then going to work or going to play sports or having this group of friends or whatever and not, not taking our faith with us. Is, is what I'm getting at. And so here in Ephesians chapter 6, Paul tells us this. Read it with me. Starting in verse 10. It says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil, in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day, having done all that to stand firm. Paul says it there. He says, I want you need to put on the full armor of God. He doesn't say you need to go try to find one. He doesn't say it would be nice to act like you have on armor. He says you need to put it on. And so in all these situations, these silly ones and maybe serious ones that you're thinking about, it's, uh, it's one thing to have it, but if you're not wearing it, it's no good. It's like a seatbelt. It's like a life jacket. It does you no good if you're not wearing it. And what Paul's telling us, I think what God's trying to tell us and what we can uh, take from that today is that we need to put on our armor. Not, not Sunday morning, not Wednesday night, every day, every second, wherever we are at work, with our families, in good situations, in bad situations, whatever. We need to put on our faith and we need to carry the armor of God with us. Why? Because it says so that we can withstand the schemes of the devil. I love that. I want you to think with me tonight just for a minute about maybe what are some ways or what are some times and places that you lay your faith to the side? You know, I can remember situations where I was uh, a little bit like a chameleon and depending on who I was around, my faith changed. 
Paul says something very different here. He says, I want you to, to put it on this week, this next week for all of us to put on that armor of God. If you'll turn uh, also with me, Colossians chapter 3. I've read this text a few times, but stay with me. I haven't quite got to this part yet. Um, Paul says this. He says, put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another. If one has a complaint against one another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven us, that you must also forgive. And above all these, check this out. Paul says this, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Harmony. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you were called in one body and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonish one another in wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and thankfulness in your hearts to God. Whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. I love this text. Paul is reminding us, guys, you need to put this on. You need to put your faith on. You need to put on love. And he says above everything. And I, and I think this really speaks to us today. The situation that we're in and, and some of the divisions, some of the, I guess, problems and drama that's in our world. If, if God's people would stand up and if they would put on their faith, if they would put on their armor in this situation, if they put on love, how, how could that change the things around us? I want to challenge you this week to not just say I go to church somewhere or, or have a Bible laying somewhere that you read here and there, but to really, to really put your faith on, to really take God with you wherever you go. As you go out this week, I want to challenge you to think about every day putting on your armor and putting on your faith and taking it to work and taking it to your family and taking it to difficult situations and thinking about those things that, that Jesus taught us to take it out into the world. So it's, it's one thing to own it. It's one thing to say that you have it, but it's a very different thing to put it on. And, and in a world where it seems like um, maybe you're the only one that's doing it, there is an, such a need right now for Christians to shine their light, to put on that armor, to put on their faith, and to show the world, hey, we're not perfect and we make mistakes, but with God, everything's possible. This week, put on love. Um, carry it with you. Appreciate you joining us. If you want to go back and read these texts, that's two good ones for you. Colossians 3, 12 through 17, and Ephesians 6. Take your faith with you this week, wherever you go. And uh, that's just a challenge from us for you to take this, take it into your heart, to think about it, and tell somebody this week about Jesus and what he's done for you. And uh, I think for years we've gotten in, a, in trouble, I guess, in church of keeping our faith inside the the brick and mortar and inside the walls of the church and the church is the people it's the called out ones it, it's about us it's about me and you and so we've got to do our job of wearing those things so that when people see us flawed as we may be that people see christ and that's our challenge this week i hope you have a, a great night together i hope you'll think about this with your family and spend some time and study but more than anything i hope you'll put on your faith this week Thank you.